So there's this old rancher. We'll call him Hank. Hank's a bit antisocial. He lives on a 15-acre farm, and he's the only one around four miles. One night, as he's taking his trash out, he hears this loud, obnoxious laughter. Now, he's super confused because town is about an hour away, and there's only one road that goes into town. So he should have seen or heard visitors coming down the road a long time before they arrived. He takes a quick look and he doesn't see any cars by the side of the road alongside his property. And this laughter, it's not stopping. So he grabs his rifle and he follows the sound into his barn. When his eyes adjust to the dim lighting, he sees that all of his sheep are huddled in one corner of their pen. Still fumbling for the light switch, he sees that the laughter is coming from a ram that's on the other side of the pen and it's standing on its hind legs. Hank's able to get the light switched on at this point, and the ram stops laughing immediately. As he's lifting his rifle, the ram turns and glares at him with very human-like eyes. Shocked, Hank stared as the ram slumped down onto all fours and just simply walked away. That same night, this high schooler named Peggy was driving home after her school's prom, and her house is on the far side of town. The fastest way to get there is to take an old dirt highway that loops all the way around a hill, just outside of town. It's late, it's dark out, and she's alone, of course, and about halfway around this hill, a large coyote appears out of nowhere. Startled, she swerves a bit, and she thinks it's just a trick of the light, and she's just tired from all the prom festivities. But then she sees something out of the corner of her eye, and it's a shadow just in her side mirror. She realizes the coyote is running along the side of her car, keeping an even pace with her. She gives the car a little bit more gas, thinking that maybe if she goes just a little bit faster, the coyote would just give up and go do whatever it is coyotes do at night. But no, the coyote speeds up, staying even with the car's speed. At this point, she's worried something just feels completely off, and she steps on the gas, and the coyote continues to keep pace with her. It quickly begins to gain on her car, coming close to the driver's side door. The second her car gets around the hill and the town's lights begin to come into view, the coyote disappears and a towering man appears in its place. He pounds on the side of the car and disappears altogether. Screaming and swerving, Peggy is barely able to keep the car on the road as she speeds back to the town. So what in the netherworld are we dealing with today? This creature is said to be able to mimic animals, control minds, shapeshift, and practice witchcraft. They are most known for their ability to shift between animals and humans at will. They're commonly known to take on the form or possess coyotes, wolves, bears, and owls. One way to detect them is that when they're in the form of an animal, they have human eyes. And when they're in the form of a human, they tend to have the eyes of the animals they most recently shifted into. If eye contact is made with this creature, they can possess the victim's body temporarily controlling what they can say and do. The Navajo peoples refer to it as Yi Nodlushi, meaning it goes on all fours. Most commonly referred to as a skinwalker, it is a supernatural being that has haunted Navajo folklore for centuries, and it continues to live in the shadows as people still tell of sightings even today. Have you ever seen a skinwalker or know somebody who has? Let me know in the comments. Follow for more if you want to hear more stories from the netherworld.